Integrating your SendGrid account with Excelair is extremely easy to do. The first thing you're going to need to do is set up a SendGrid account. So come to SendGrid.com or click on the links in our Knowledge Base articles and then click on Pricing. This is where you'll see information about the different plans available through SendGrid. I won't go into a lot of detail here, but you can see that each plan is going to cost a certain amount. For this example, $10 a month for up to 40,000 emails per month or you can pay $20 for up to 1,000, uh, 100,000 emails a month, etc. So choose the plan that best fits your needs in terms of the volume of email you're going to be sending. And then just click on the Get Started uh, button as you see here and, and sign up just like you would with any other account, right? Get your uh, username and password, etc. And then just make sure to write down your username and password uh, for SendGrid because you're going to need that here in a second when we start setting up Excelair. So assuming that you've set up a SendGrid account, I'm going to come back to Excelair. And I'm going to click on the settings icon in the top right hand corner and then user options. Once the window opens up, I'm going to click on the email tab and then click on the advanced tab underneath that. You'll see in Excelair we have the concept of being able to create additional accounts or identities for sending email. So you can create as many accounts as you want here, including SendGrid integration. So if I click on the Create New Account drop-down arrow here, you'll notice SendGrid is one of the options. I'm going to choose SendGrid, and I'm going to type in my username and password. Make sure to grab your username and password. I've got mine saved right here. And then you'll notice that uh, it tells you if it was successfully connected or not. So it's telling me that the account information was successfully imported, and I can click the OK button to save. I can also fill out any additional details that I want to um, regarding this. So maybe your company name or other details in terms of where you want your emails coming from. type Brian Wilson here and then simply click OK. As long as it saves without any uh, warning messages you know that your account has been set up. So that's all you need to do to set up the SendGrid uh, information. Once I hit OK it's going to bring me back to the main section of Excelair and just like before if I want to start sending a single or multiple emails I can click on the send mass email button and when I do, the new email window is going to open up. And then I'll just want to make sure to choose my SendGrid account from the From option here. This is where all your different email identities will show up. So depending on how you like to send email, you can have multiple identities, including the SendGrid account. You'll just simply select that, type in your subject and the body of your email, as you normally would, and then simply hit Send. And that's it. We're going to start sending uh, those mass emails using your SendGrid account and honoring those SendGrid limits. Uh, but the fun thing is, is just as before, you're going to see the history show up underneath your candidates or your contacts, just like uh, using a regular sending account inside of Excelair. But you're also going to have the added benefits of being able to log into your SendGrid account. And if you notice here, I'm already logged into mine, so I'm going to go ahead and go to my dashboard. And this is going to give you additional statistics in terms of how you're using email and using your SendGrid account. Looks like I need to log back in here real quick. I'll just log in. And you'll notice now it's loading my dashboard. So I've been using SendGrid a lot lately to send emails. And this is really great because it tells me a lot of different stuff in terms of um, just what I'm doing with email. How many have actually been delivered to the recipients? How many times have those emails been opened? How many times have people clicked on links inside of my email? If I come to the activity stream here, I'm also going to see lots of cool stuff specifically on the people that I've sent emails to. So has the email been delivered or not? Has it actually been opened or not? Has it bounced? Uh, have people clicked on these emails? You can even filter by these using the options here. Show me just, just people that have clicked, for example. Or show me just people that um, have opened the email, for example. So this is really a great um, tool, especially when you're doing email marketing or when you want to know 
um, whether or not your email has actually been opened or not, right? Sometimes recruiters get into a representation issues, so you can come in here and see if your uh, hiring manager has actually opened that email for the resume that you submitted. So just kind of a great additional tool to use um, for your email marketing efforts uh, using SendGrid. Uh, we hope you enjoy the integration. Please send an email to support.